this morning, sort of unexpectedly, we got one of the really brilliant sunrises that we get around here sometimes. So it's just, just the bright yellow orange over there now. But 10 minutes ago, it was this brilliant purple and red. It was just stunning. I wish I could have captured it for you, but I wasn't expecting any kind of sunrise this morning because of the heavy cloud cover. And so all I've got is that for you. But we're going to take a little walk today. We're going to explore a spot in these woods that I want to capture in the morning light. There might be enough of the morning golden light to make it worth our while yet. So let's go take a walk and find out. That tree right there, I don't see a good photograph in it, but I do think it's really fascinating. I love the trees that still are holding their leaves in the winter. It's just a nice little pop of color out here in the otherwise gray woods. So I thought I'd share that with you this morning. You can see behind me there that I've completely lost the light, all that beautiful golden sunlight that we had when I set out, which was under five minutes ago. It's all gone now. We're back to the gray light that we had. But from this location, I still like the look of that tree isolated against the background. So we're going to take that picture and then we're going to see what we can do with it in post-processing to sort of emphasize the, the cold tones here and see what we can pull out of it. I'm seeing a lot of warm tones in the dead grasses here. So I think there's a really great opportunity for some contrast in there. So let me take that picture now and we'll see what we get. When I framed that picture up, it wasn't... Uh, the picture wasn't, the tree wasn't fully in frame with the lens I was using. The shortest focal length on that 70 millimeters, and it brought me in really tight. So I swapped out to a 50 millimeter prime, and we're still in pretty tight, but I do actually have the tree fully in frame. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull back just a little bit, and we're going to get just a little bit more sky in the frame there, and a little bit more of this grassy foreground, and I think we'll get a better composition. So... Let me turn you around and we'll show you that right now. So there's our setup right now. The tree pretty much just films the frame. Fills the frame. And I don't like that. So let's pull back just a little bit. And we'll get ourselves a composition we like just a little bit better. There we go. It's not a huge difference. It's a little difference. I feel a little more comfortable with the edge of the sky around this. So... We're going to take that picture now, and we're still in manual mode, about an eighth of a second. It looks pretty good. My uh, histogram there shows that I'm not blowing anything out, that I'm capturing a good full range. I've got F16 in really, really deep depth, uh, so let's try it at F16. Yeah, it's not horrible. Let's zoom in, get a look. It's not bad. I've got details on the tree branches. Might be a little hard to see that on camera, but I've got details on the tree branches. So I'm going to make a small change here. I'm going to use a lower f-stop. We're going to take this down to f8. You can tell it's cold this morning. You can hear the. Uh, you can hear my shutter vanes uh, moving. All right, and we need to cut our time back a little bit because we're definitely blowing things out. There we go. We're not blowing anything out there. Let's see what the survey says. Oh, we still got good detail on the tree. Those grasses are coming in nicely there too. All right, that's pretty good. So let's drop one stop lower yet. All right, we're one stop lower. All right, so we've lost the detail in our trunk. But the sky is just a little bit richer. The sky is really flat here, though. Um, and I've actually got some detail in the sky back here in real life. So, 
And we're getting a little bit there. We're probably going to have to bring that out in post-processing. But I think it's a great time to go do that now. This is going to be a real quick episode this morning. I just wanted to go out and shoot this tree. It's right around the corner from my office. Walking back to the car, I happened to catch a look at this lichen from a distance from the path. It is really bright white. And it's a little rough and a little past its prime now, but I think there's still some good photographs in it. So I'm going to try that right now and I'll put, share what I got with you. I hope you like what I showed you. If you like this video, you like the content I'm providing, please click the like button. If you want to see notices when I put more stuff out there, click the subscribe button. And I want to thank you for watching through. Goodbye.